Wow. That is a fish of a lifetime. Here we go, boy. Wow, we. That thing is a monster. They fight hard, don't they? Look at that magnificent fish. Look at the size of that fish. There he is again. The color is incredible. Oh, there we go. The Real Fishing Show with Bob Azumi. Big old Great Lakes smallmouth. That is a big rainbow trout, Chris. Nice double header. Whoa. <laughs> nice jump. Yeah, all right. That is a monster smallmouth. Man, that is so cool. Another one, there we go. The biggest pike I've ever caught. Look at that chunk. So that's what we're talking about. Real fishing is sponsored by Mercury, Go Boldly, Berkeley, Catch More Fish, and Abu Garcia for life. On the Real Fishing Show, we make catching fish like this a possibility. Throwing this bait way out deep, Ty. Yep. And uh, just because they don't seem to be really tight to the bank and uh, feels decent. Hard to say. I, I wacky rig a general on this, this flipping rod. It was broken a bit, uh, the general. And uh, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to fish it. Oh, yeah. Look at the Look size at that of that one. one. Grab that net. That is a big one. Oh, that is a fat one. Come on up. OK, there you go. Man. Look at that. Yes. That's a monster. <laughs> Look at the size of that fish. That is wow. how you start it. That's a giant. Wow. That's got a half ounce of um, ultra tungsten weight on there. And I was wacky rigging a Berkeley General, a big uh, six inch General. Look at that thing. Wow. That fish there. That's nice definitely, definitely seven plus, oh, isn't it? Oh, for sure. It? Seven. Well, folks, I'm fishing here with Tyler Ramsdell down in Florida. And Tyler is the uh, recreational director of uh, Stream Song Resort uh, for what? The archery, the sporting clays, the bass fishing. Bass fishing. Personal favorite, the bass fishing, yeah. Well, I want to put this in the live well and get a, a weight on it. But Tyler, it's been a couple of years since we fished together. And here we are. Back again, having a little fun this morning. Wow, what Good a monster. start. That's a fatty. Great first fish. Whew. Heavy, too. All right. <laughs> Look at that thing. You know, good old stick baits. You can fish these, um, um, you know, Texas rigged, uh, flip them in heavy cover, fish them weightless in open water situations. Um, in a lot of cases, uh, they're just a versatile bait. But what I did is I wacky rigged this, which is a little different, is I'm using a, a Fusion 19, a flipping hook, and I tore up the front end of this by Texas rigging it. So I got a half ounce weight here, and it's pretty deep water where we're fishing um, here in Florida. And the fish aren't up shallow. It's really a bluebird sky, and uh, the cold fronts come through. So I've hooked it right in the middle in what they call the egg sack on the ripped up one. This is a new one here. And that's all I'm doing is just throwing it like that, wacky rigged. This is it, wacky rigged, uh, sort of bubba fishing. We're talking uh, pretty basic rig, but uh, awesome. Nice. Crankbait fish. So you're gonna wake him up for me, okay. I'm just gonna fire out there now and see if that woke up the school, okay? It should have. I can hear this thing all the way on the other side of the lake. Yeah, that's a, a frit side crankbait. Makes a lot of noise, a nice little seductive wobble to it. Was he hooked well? Oh yeah, he's not going nowhere. No. Usually if they hit these, they don't get off. Unless you're in a tournament and it's a big one. That's and, true. And the money's on the line. Other than that, you're right, though, those, those hooks are incredibly sharp. Like that's barely in there and I can't get it out. Got it. 
I'm working the odd one on the depth finder down here, so I'm gonna drop right down to it. Coming uh -huh. up. Come on, baby. Are you on? There we go. There we go, I think. Yep. Oh, did he drop it? Well, he's on it. He's on it. Oh, there we go. So it tells you all sizes I'll hit this. This whack. Oh, I lost my bait. We'll hit the wacky rig. Even a big uh, general like that six and a quarter inch I'm using because this one here is just a wee fella. See you later. My bait shook off, too. That's not cool. Crankbait woke him up. Yep, thank you for waking him up. No problem. You wake him, I'll catch him. Teamwork. Yeah. Uh-oh. Come on, baby. Are you on? There we go. Nice. I'd say out of all the bass lures going, the easiest lure in the world to fish is a stick bait like I'm doing. <laughs> Even though I'm bubba fishing with this flipping rod, wacky rigging it, is you can just take a bait and just hook it like I've got it hooked. And it's no problem at all hooking the fish. All you do is tighten up and hook them. Thank you. Gotcha. It's just, it's, yeah, it's very easy to use. There we go. That's a nice old bass. All right. Nice. Nice hook set. That's a nicer fish, I think. Yep, yep, big one. Oh, nice one. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> All right. All righty. So you just went back to that worm. Very nice. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> nice bass. And the hook just fell out. Look at that. Very nice. Lucky there. Close to yours, but. Hey. We'll take it. It's the same species. Exactly. And nice. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. Awesome. Want me to let it go or? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. That's good. A good fish. So how did it just tick tick and he was yep, on? Same, same as yours. Yeah. Well, that's that's what you do in a cold front in Florida when the fish aren't active. You might as well just throw a bait right down in front of their nose because their strike zone is going to be very small. Like it might only be like two, three feet. Oh, it's definitely when it grows up, it's going to yeah. be. Because it, it's got attitude now. What's it going to be when it gets to be a giant? They're fun, aren't they? Oh, he hit that so hard. I mean, he hit it like a five pounder, and he's only two pound, pound and a half. That's right. A couple years. Yeah, a couple years. Catch her again. She hit it hard, too. Only hard hit so far that I've had. She That's thumped it. You know what, what's pretty funny is here you are from New Hampshire, right? Yes, sir, yeah. And you've been down here for how many years now? I've lived here 12 years now. 12 years, never went back other than visit the family. Correct, yeah. So the fish aren't, haven't been really active, have they, Ty, today? Not you at know? All. I mean, we're not, we're not catching them on moving baits, at least moving fast baits and that. So what we're doing is we're fishing a lot of this hydrilla line, the deeper weed line where it drops right off and we're, we're fishing you know, the soft plastics, just dragging them and fishing them right on the bottom, bare bottom, actually. That that fish you caught there, the last one, was on the edge of the weeds, but in open water, right? Or just on the edge just of Just right on the edge. And we're seeing the odd one cruise, but not much is up high today. It seems like their belly's to the bottom. And uh, as long as we keep the, the bait down near the bottom and just slowly drag it, because you want to get near a fish that's down there just get within a couple of feet of it, so it just has to move over, open its mouth, suck the bait in. They're not gonna chase it 10, 20 feet like they would if, if it was actually warmer out. I mean, it's nice now, but it's still a cold front. Bluebird sky got down to really cold last night, and uh, 
here we are. We're Florida fishing. Largemouth in Florida are definitely more fickle than northern largemouth. They still hit the same lures uh, in a lot of cases, but there's no question that they don't, um, you know, they turn on and off quickly, don't they? Yeah, fronts, cold fronts will slow them down for sure. The Florida bass don't like a cold front, so and that's you know, what we're we got. Post, post front right now, so usually this day is pretty slow, but we've managed to find some big ones still low and slow, though, just bouncing these worms on the edge of that hydrilla. All righty. It's low and slow with Tyre Ramsdale. Coming up. Using that green pumpkin wind-up worm. Look at that. Another one. Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury. Go boldly. Some of our viewers admit they tune into the real fishing show just to see a few decent fish being caught. Others tell us it's the information on tackle and techniques that keep them coming back. Of all the questions we receive, where were you fishing is most common. Now, you may have noticed that Bob doesn't always mention exact locations, with the exception of big waters like Simcoe, Quinty, or the Great Lakes. This includes filming locations for the fish eye view. But we do offer some honest clues, a lake near Halliburton, for example. On behalf of everyone at Real Fishing, we apologize for this lack of information, but there's a very important reason behind it. We've learned from past experience that smaller waters can only withstand so much pressure and publicity. With a limited stock of fish, it doesn't take long to damage a lake or river. Even if it's strictly catch and release, there's a small percentage of mortality despite good intentions. In time, local economies can also suffer. Allow us to be perfectly honest. In Ontario alone, there are hundreds of fishing hotspots that surpass anything seen on the show. With a bit of searching, you can find these hidden treasures. In an effort to preserve that great fishing, who can blame you for keeping a few secrets? Oh, yeah. Come on out of here, baby. I saw that one, Ty. Just spin around and eat it. It was, it was like, I saw it, and it saw the bait, and it ate it, and it was, uh, very, look at how skinny that guy is. Underprivileged? <laughs> he's not eating at the restaurant yeah. that screams <laughs> He's definitely not that guy. <laughs> look at that. That was me when I was 14 years old right there. <laughs> he was even slow to swim. That's a nice Ooh, one. Yeah. Or he's fighting like a nice one. I'm gonna get that net as soon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna get the net. I'll reel in here real quick. Very nice, Ty. That, he hit it so good too. Look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes, <laughs> let's go. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Look at the white belly on that thing. Awesome. Getting closer to you. <laughs> I think that one is close. Nice. That is a nice one. So, what worm are you using? Oh, the wind-up, the new power bait wind-up. It's got Love like a little too. tail on it, like a, almost like a swim bait. You know, you wanna hide More, that worm? Uh, yeah, exactly. Don't show everyone that, but just show them that right there. Come on down. Stream Song Resort, we'll put you on some of these right here. All right, you gonna put that one in the live oh, yeah. of mine? that's a good picture. No, just mark, make sure you see which one's bigger before you get it in there, okay? I already know, mine's the bigger one, so. No, it isn't. <laughs> oh, they're about the same. Oh, you say that, you say that. Nice. All right. I think we're tied, I think we're tied up on that. Good stuff. Big, I thought. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at the size of that thing. Darn. Whoa, let me get that. Ooh, she's Whoa. going. <laughs> I saw it swim sideways. Came off that grass mat right there. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> All righty, Ty. Using that green pumpkin wind up worm. Look at that, Another nice. One. Good nice. size one. Very nice. That worm that you're using is uh, as subtle as they get. 
and uh, they keep them in here to protect them. Look at that thing, it's called a wind-up. It's got a little boot tail on it, like a swim bait type worm. Nice fish. They can't resist it. Nice. That mouth on it. I'll live all this right. one too, huh? Very good, you're the man. I think that pushes me up in weight. I don't know. I don't know. I got a pretty Couple big. There, I got right? a pretty big belly. Yeah. Go on my fish too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, one that's seven plus and a couple of other, what, five to six pounders. Nice these are ones? these are eights, I think. <laughs> okay, well then mine's a ten. Yeah. <laughs> pretty big fish, and uh, that's why I love coming down here to see it. Stream song, man. Lots of big fish. Should we get them back in? Yes, sir. Look at that. Alrighty, look at that thing. Boy, that's a big bass. See you later, bud. There it goes. Bye. All right. Hey, folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more real fishing with my buddy Tyler after this. Coming up. Yeah, nice belly. That fish there definitely has not gone spawn. Pre spawn. Pre -spawn. Oh, look at that. I think we're in good shape. There's got to be fish on these points somewhere. Yeah. There's a really good cove on the other side of this. With like a tree in it, I always catch a big fish off it. Okay, I don't think he's big. Well, I don't know. Not bad, <laughs> not too bad. <sighs> He's not a gigantic, but you know what? Nothing wrong with that baby. All right. That one was just very lightly hit. Nice belly, that fish there definitely has not, not pre spawned. Pre-spawn. Yeah, look at that. Very cool. Smallmouth do it, large monk too, if you just hold them like this. Just do this. You know, just swim out of your hand. Well, I switched it up. I've got here, so this is watermelon red, so it's got red flake, and it's basically watermelon, like a green color. I'm just gonna take it now that it's all chewed up at the one end. I'm gonna rig it wacky style now, and just uh, throw it out there wacky rigged. Nice. Right by that fry. Oh, very cool. She was guarding that fry pile right there. Oh, is that right? Yep. You saw a bunch underneath, of fry? Underneath it, yeah. You know what's amazing is, uh, you know, how clear the water is. And I remember fishing here one time where there was a real algae bloom and it was pea soup color. But today, the water's clear. At least this year, I haven't been here for a couple of years, Ty, and I noticed that, uh, nice. Chunky one? Yeah, very nice. And uh, I noticed the water's a lot clearer today. I guess there's so much weeds in here, it's filtering it out. Yeah, I think the hydrilla really filters out and cleans cleans your lake up a lot. And usually it'll die off in the winter, but, but we've only had one cold front, so I think that hydrilla hasn't been killed off and it's just cleaning this water out. Um, yeah, it is clean. Like that fish, you could just see it cruise by after you sat. Yeah, I spooked the fry, and then she came out actually from the hydrilla and just smoked it. Oh, it did? So she was sitting in the hydrilla. They'll guard those little babies, you know? Oh, look at the one behind it, Bob. Oh, Bob, yeah. Bob. I'll see if I can double up. I'm gonna lower it down. That was funny. You had a chaser on there, right? Two fish, yeah. And they're both nice ones. Same size. Actually, that one was a little better than the other one. Still get yours on? Yep. I'm trying to catch that other one. He went under the boat. He went under the boat. Nice. The other one, same size? Well, I think that one was a little bigger, actually, the one that swam away. He was spooked, though, wasn't he? He just he darted. He saw the boat and took off, yeah. He was right with her, though, swimming. That's a beautiful fish right That here. is a nice bass. Very nice. Long, beautiful. All right. Very nice. I think she cracks in my top five for the day. Oh, you're doing all right, you know? Maybe. You're doing good because, I don't know, you're just doing good, and 
I'm catching them, but you're catching bigger and more, well, more good ones. I've got one good one. Yes, you got the big one, I th we think. It's debatable right now, Is but. It debatable? I think. You never know until you get a scale on her. No. A certified scale. Certified. IGFA certified scale. Yep. Never lies. Well, it could if it's on, if it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Jumper. Whoa. <laughs> Come on in here. That's a nice bass. All right. I think Florida largemouth, their teeth are a little bit more, you know, defined. For sure. They're, they give you a bath thumb. Look at that belly. She's that pre spawned too, for sure. Yeah, yeah, nice belly. Very cool. That's what we're talking about. Right there, big buddy. Got a little belly. Getting ready to spawn pretty soon. Life is good if you're a Floridian largemouth. Any followers? Oh, yeah, right yeah there it. is a follower. I'll keep them down there. Let's see if we can double up. Okay, well, I've got my bait down there. You've got a decoy out. A lot of times with smallmouth bass, you can do this and largemouth too, but more smallmouth. But I'm not getting bit, so I appreciate you leaving your nice bass in there to let me have a shot at it. Well, I'll tell you, Tyler, we've had a good little short outing this morning. Absolutely. A couple of hours of fishing. It's a pretty good sized fish. Life is real good down here in the Sunshine State. Especially when back home, there's ice and people ice fishing. And I, I feel really bad, by the way. You, you got a group coming in, like, right, to do archery. Right. From some New York folks. Correct. So you've got to look after them for the archery this afternoon. I'll think of you when I'm fishing though this afternoon, okay? okay? I really will. I'm, I'm going to think of you. Every fish I catch, I'm going to go, I wonder if Ty would be happy or <laughs> sad. Oh, look at that bass cruising right there. Yep. See them? They're all over the place, folks. We'll see you next week right here for some more real fishing. Oh, he's, he's going to eat it. Real fishing was sponsored by Mercury. Go boldly. Berkeley, catch more fish and Abu Garcia for life. Well, that thing's got some weight to it. <laughs> Size of that puppy right there. That is, that is just wild. Man. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the size of that thing.